This is Omar Miller, and you're watching The Three Point Conversion. Moments of truth. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I thought, you know, defensively in the second quarter um, and in the fourth quarter, we were um, so much to our identity, the activity, the toughness. It uh, doesn't mean everything's going to happen perfectly defensively, but um, guys were flying around. Um, Caleb was really inspiring, you know, tonight. He and Bam you know, really anchored our defense uh, at those key moments. Um, and then, you know, it always helps, uh, you know, to make some shots, you know, going down the stretch. Uh, Jimmy was uh, so solid. You know, you just always know that the ball can go somewhere and you're going to get uh, – just a clean, great decision for your basketball team. Uh, and he did that down the stretch. Uh, and then I'm just going to write fourth quarter uh, on every notepad um, to Tyler, you know, and every other quarter because he has that clutch gene. He really does. Uh, it doesn't matter what's happening during the course of the game. He's a killer, you know, down the stretch. Uh, he loves those moments. He lives for those moments. Uh, he'll knock some really tough shots down in those moments. Uh, and that gave us, you know, that extra cushion just to take it, you know, to 10, you know, those big shots that he hit. Uh, but there were a lot of contributions, you know, Kyle uh, in his minutes. Uh, um, I don't have my glasses right now, so I didn't see the exact minutes. But I, I, I think we're in the ballpark, so I don't want to get yelled at, you know, by anybody tonight. Um, but he, he, uh, he impacts winning, and he just settled everybody. He got the ball where it needed to go. But he's so active, you know, even defensively. Uh, he just makes some things happen on on that end, and uh, it was a good uh, team win. I, I'm, uh, I probably can sum it up with all of this right now. Is <laughs> like. Uh, you know, nothing about the season um, was easy, and I'm embracing that, that it's not going to be easy. And I told that to the team. You have to embrace this right now, and this is just a, the path for this team, and it doesn't mean it's a negative thing. Um, just wrap your mind sort of around that and uh, embrace it. Uh, take on this challenge, and we'll get ready for a massively important game on Wednesday. Through all of this, you are one game out of the number six seed in the Eastern Conference with two weeks to go in the season. The fact that, I don't want to say the player face is weighted for you, but you're there and it's there for the taking, including a game against Brooklyn after that next game. Not that we're looking ahead, but what does it say that you're still at this point where every moment will be meaningful, let alone every game? It's like our March madness, our April madness. It really is. Uh, I see the similarities. You know, right now, every game, uh, is a, a must win. Uh, and if you're a competitor, you have to love this. Maybe not exactly where we are and how we got here. It doesn't matter. If you're a competitor and, and you want to be tested and, uh, and have an opportunity to uh, conquer teams and on opportunities, you know, this is what it's all about. Uh, you know, right now, opportunities are just right there in front of us. Uh, now we have to dig in and roll up our sleeves, and we're going to have to compete and fight for it. But the opportunities are, are there, and uh, that's all you can ask for at this uh, time of year. At the end of the game, four minutes to go tied, Jimmy came in with about six to go. It seems like the theme almost is wait for Jimmy, and then we'll take care of business. Is that oversimplifying it, or is A it little bit. to get to But getting to Jimmy time is still important, so we can get his rest, and you're still there. Yeah, look. Uh, well, there's a lot of different factors. I don't want to get into to everything right now. Uh, that would be oversimplifying a, a, a little bit. But with great players, um, you know, generational type competitors, uh, they're incredible closers. Uh, and you don't want to just kind of bank on that. So we want to get consistent play throughout uh, the rotation and throughout the course of the game and try to grab a hold of a game you know, potentially earlier, uh, and we're, we're, we've been working diligently to try to get that consistency uh, throughout our rotation. Uh, but it's it's always a, a great ace card, you know, to have uh, when you have just a, a brilliant basketball player and competitor that you know that you can get the ball 
to them in any kind of situation. We, we basically, down the stretch in, in this game, in the post, at the top of the key, in pick and rolls, as a screener, anywhere he's going to help your team generate uh, a good quality, high percentage look. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what the, the coverage will be. And that's what great players do. And with Caleb, you spoke about the energy, and you could see that, the relentlessness. With Kyle, it's subtle, it's nuanced. But the difference in having Kyle available to close these games out, what are some of the nuances that he allows the good things to happen around him? <sighs> I don't see it as a coincidence. You know, in his minutes in the first half, we took off and we had basically a, a, a 10 point lead. Uh, he's so disruptive defensively, and his versatility, I think, is probably his most underrated aspect of a six foot point guard. Uh, in this league that he can guard one through four. You can put him on everybody. And uh, he disrupts timing of plays defensively. Uh, he takes charges. He's physical. Uh, he gives you a, a, an edge. Uh, he's a great communicator. And then offensively, it speaks for uh, itself. Uh, knocks down, you know, big shots. That, that four-point play uh, at a key moment. Uh, and then at the end, just organized everybody. He and I are, you know, after two years now of doing this, we're on the same page uh, about play calls, where the ball needs to go, how to get everybody organized. Uh, but that's what a Hall of Fame quarterback does. Just one, Coach, uh, our buddy Ron Rothstein's probably at home counting paint touches and rebounding leads and how it impacts uh, winning for this team. But. I look at this assists, and I think you've only had one game that you've lost all season with 30 or more assists. And today, 33 on 38 buckets, led by Jimmy's 10 dimes, who's leading you in scoring and yeah. setting up scoring. Yeah. It's just got to be the best of the offense, even though it's you know maybe not 138, but it, it's it's just really efficient. When you the uh, intentionality uh, of our offense is, is definitely getting a little bit more consistent uh, and trending in a better way. Uh, I don't want to make any definitive statements right now because we have to stay, you know, the course with this. The way we played tonight uh, could have been a 130-point game. And you just have to play the right way. And it has to be winning basketball. You have to make consistent decisions with the basketball over and over and over, uh, regardless of whether the ball's going in or not. And I thought, for the most part, we did. We missed a lot of open shots, you know. Uh, with great ball movement, and it's like those classic uh, highlight, this is how we want to move the defense of, of attacking, creating an advantage, putting pressure on the paint, the rim, uh, and making the extra play. Uh, and some of those ended up in a, in a missed open shot, and that didn't discourage us from continuing to make the right play. And we're going to need a whole lot more of that. Um, we're going to face a very good defense on Wednesday. Um, no, so we'll have to do that again. All right, thank you. Thank you, Eric.